welcome to my channel and this is the week five yes there are five weeks in may although i did add a couple days of june in but this is the wrap up for that week may the 27th through june the 2nd as i said this is the week five wrap up for the month of may and it actually rolls into June the 2nd until June the 2nd. So I'm lobbing these two days in along with the end of May. And oh my goodness, I didn't get very much reading done. But I don't know if you can tell or not. My voice is a little uh, yucky because I've been sick. And my workplace, the air conditioner went out. And for the last, oh, a week and a half. I've been having to work in an office that is in between 81 degrees and 88 degrees. It has been ridiculously hot and uncomfortable and you're not able to concentrate. So my little trick of listening to a book and trying to work was not a very good thing. So I only got four books done and three of those books were actually read in June and not May. So if you watched my May wrap up video with all the stats, only the one book that I finished in May is added into that list. Um, oh, actually I take that back. One of the books from this list did make the top five. Um, and I counted it as a May read, but it's not actually a May read. I'll let you know. So the first book that I finished in this last week was A Good Boy Wags Number One by Sarah Bowen and L. Kennedy. This is a rom-com. It is a spin-off of her, of their, because it's co-written. Actually, it's like tri-written. That's really interesting. Anyways, it is written by a couple people. <laughs> and it's a spin-off of him and us. So you get... Jess and Blake's story. Jess is sort of this kind of flighty type person in the family. She's the youngest, I believe. She's the youngest of this huge hockey family and she doesn't really know what she wants to do with herself. They're not the whole family's not into hockey exactly, but they're very close knit and want them want their kids to do the best, the parents. The parents are awesome. And Blake is her brother's husband's teammate and they have a thing where they got together while her brother was sick at one point and then they had some time away and then they sort of meet back up during the wedding and some sexy time happens yes this was a fun book it was a fun book Jess was a little flighty for me and I fell in love with Blake. His douchery, his douchebagness wasn't all true. He was a big old teddy bear at heart and loved him. I ended up giving this book four stars. I listened to it on audiobook. Forgot to say that all in the beginning like I usually do. Go out and read it if you want something light and fun and sexy and all that. The next book I read was Wife Number Seven, The Compound number one by Melissa Brown. I read this for Chick Lit -a thon and it's hard to categorize this book. I sort of want to put it into a dark romance but at the same time it's new adult and yeah I give it four stars. I listened to it on audiobook and my review for it <sighs> yeah so as I said, I put it in a couple different categories. I put it into dark romance because the issues that they talk about in this book are wow. Wow. And I like my dark. I like my dark romances. I like that taboo stuff that's like, it's going to make you cringe. But at the same time, you can see, ooh, yes, that is this story. That is one of these, oh, yes. So you have Brinley, who is part of a polygamist, yes, polygamist compound. 
wow, y'all. Wow. I mean, I was just like, ah. It, uh, she has secrets. The whole compound has secrets. It really looks at the faith and the believings of polygamy and all of that. I can get down with and understand polyamorous, but there is a huge difference, huge difference between polyamorous and polygamy. There were so many cringe-worthy moments in this book that I was just like, why am I reading this? Why? Why, why? But I'm going to push through because I want to get through it. I don't necessarily like how everything turned out. I agree with how everything turned out. Maybe I'll pick up the rest of the books in the series, but it's quite possible that I won't because of the whole polygamous ath uh, factor in it. I, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't even. I, I just can't contemplate that at all. This book actually had me on the edge similar to when I read historical fiction books or historical romances that have anything to do with like slavery or any books that have to do with slavery. It just, mm, yeah, yeah. So four stars for that one. Next book I finished was Hostile Working Place, Breaking the Rules number two by A.M. Madden. And I placed this in contemporary. I give it 3.5 stars. I listened to it on audiobook and I have my reasons. So one of my first reasons is that you're introduced to this guy, Sam. And for me, Sam ended up being a douchebag throughout the entire, entire story. He did not evolve for me. He didn't end up becoming this good guy. I mean, there were some miscommunications that went along. And then it brings us to our next part that I didn't particularly care for was that the ladies' names of these characters in the char the character female character names for this book were so similar. Lydia, Jess, Judy, and they were all thrown out at like one time. I was like, and then I think there was like an Olivia in there or something. And I was like, what, what, who, which, huh, what, huh? What? So many scrambles. So just it. Oh. And then the things that happened just didn't, didn't really appreciate. Um, I don't know that I can say I didn't appreciate it. I just wasn't feeling it. So. It was an okay book for me, and I love AM's writing, and I love her, quite a few of her other books, so I can't love every, all of my favorite authors' books. It happens, but yeah, this one just wasn't for me. And then finally, I finished reading Master of My Heart, Finding Sabrina Number 2 by Marissa Honeycutt. <sighs> dark romance this book is part of a series that y'all need to get up on if you haven't read the life of anna series by marissa fur already you need to read that one before you even think about reading this book especially before you read the other book uh master of my soul i think it is is the first book nope master of my body Master of My Body is book number one in Finding Sabrina. This is number two, which is Master of My Heart. So you need to read the Life of Anna series first and then read, start reading this one because there's lots and lots of spoilers in this one. I'm not going to go into it. Just know that I give it 4.5 to 5 stars and I teeter in there because... Because it's a series. That's the only reason. That's the only reason, because I'm left not knowing things and hard all just hurt. Sabrina goes through some shit in this book again. It ha it's very reminiscent to the things that Anna has to go through as well. And Chase, oh, oh, I love Chase. 
I love Chase. I feel for Chase. And I just, I, I can't wait for these characters to continue to talk to Marissa. Um, and I know sidebar sort of thing here, right? If you have read the series and you appreciate Marissa Honeycutt's work, please, 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 please shoot her a message or something. Let her know that she is loved and she is appreciated because Amazon is like doing her dirty and taking her stinking books down, which is BS. Books are amazing, and they don't. If you're not, if you're easily offended, don't freaking read the books. She has warnings on them, and mm, but they are amazing. They are freaking amazing. There is a group of people that love these type of stories, and I'm one of them. And whew, if you're one of them, please go support her because she is an amazing writer. She has this unique like talent that allows her characters. Her characters are just fucking amazing duh just okay off on a tangent off on a tangent if you have read any of those books let me know down in the comments like i said please support marissa in finishing this series and allowing those characters to continue to talk to her and give us their story as always if you enjoy this video please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel also there is a feedback form down in the description box so you guys can help me improve my channel. Thank you for watching and we will see you guys later.